Hey, what is up guys, SciTech City here. Tablets manufactured these days are very useful in the sense that they provide great media consumption and productivity. They sit somewhere in between a full-on laptop and a smartphone. Nonetheless, I do not use tablets that often, and that's mostly due to the fact that typing on a physical keyboard is much better and more productive than typing on an on-screen keyboard. And this is a keyboard case from Inatech made for the iPad Air 2. So without further delay, let's get right into it. The Inatech keyboard case features a chassis consisting of polycarbonate shell with this faux leather finish on the front and back. The overall design here is very minimalistic with a very elegant all black look. The case feels very durable and the thickness of the case measures in at around 1.8cm when closed. The keyboard case does add a bit of bulk as you can see to the case, but frankly speaking it's not as bad as some keyboard cases I have handled in the past. Cutouts are on point as well, so on the top we have a cutout for the sleep and wake button and the 3.5mm headphone jack which by the way is very well designed to fit even the thickest audio cables. On the right we have cutouts for the microphone and volume buttons. On the bottom we have a large cutout for the speakers and the lightning port. And on the left we have a row of metal hidden under the case. The reason why there is a row of metal because, is because it attaches to the section made of metal and magnets on the inside of the case. The metal section in the inside houses two rows of strong magnets which grab onto the row of metal on the other half of the case. The two rows of magnets allow for the iPad to be held up by the case in two different viewing positions. What's more is that when the magnets attract, the, key the keyboard case is automatically turned on. I personally think that the technological design that Intech has implemented into this keyboard case is truly innovative and ingenious as there is no need to turn the keyboard case on and off manually. Taking a closer look at the keyboard layout itself, it's very close to the standard layout on a Mac keyboard with your function, command, option, alt and control keys on the bottom, arrow keys on the bottom right corner and so on. The only real difference here is in the function keys at the top of the keyboard. From left to right we have the home button key, brightness controls, on screen keyboard activator key, copy and paste keys, search key, track control keys, volume control keys and finally a lock key. All of these I found to be extremely useful, but being a Mac user, I found myself just using Command C and Command V to copy and paste instead of using the designated function keys. But overall, I found the function keys to be very useful and intuitive, like I said. The keyboard has a good amount of travel to them and spa are spaced quite nicely. Due to the physical constraints of the iPad, of course, iPad Air, of course, the keyboard felt a bit tight and scrunched up, uh, more so than the typical laptop keyboard, but that's perfectly normal, and this aspect of the keyboard was very easy to get accustomed to as well. But one thing that I still cannot get used to is the tiny backspace button on the top right corner. I feel that Inatec should have made the key slightly larger and gotten rid of the designated copy and paste keys as I found myself constantly pressing the volume up key beside the backspace button. But then again, that's not a deal breaker and I still love the keyboard layout anyway. Now finally to discuss the battery life of this keyboard case. It's quite standard. It comes with 90 days of battery life according to Inatech and takes about 2-3 to three hours to charge using the included micro USB cable. And honestly speaking, 90 days of battery life is more than enough. So overall, taking all the things I talked about in this video into account, I feel that this keyboard case was very well thought out and is a solid choice if you're looking to get a physical keyboard solution for your iPad Air 2. Other than the fact that this keyboard case does not come with backlighting, at $36 on Amazon Canada, this is a great choice. So that's all for me guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for updates. I hope you guys have a very happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.